Hey, hey, Pisces, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Pisces. Key themes for the month of September, you have divine guidance, memories, and career. Now, bottom of the deck, you have letting go showing up here. So you could be letting go of patterns, letting go of heartbreak or pain. Yeah, because I'm getting the Three of Swords showing up in your reading and Disappointment, Five of Cups. So there is something you've been preying on or wanting to release. And bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess. You've been keeping quiet about a situation. You've been maybe even, for some of you, I am getting, I don't want to say suffering in silence, but it feels like you've been disappointed but you've kept that disappointment to yourself in some way shape or form but i feel like you're releasing it or there's some sort of help coming in yeah there's some sort of help coming in that allows you to fully surrender okay or to talk to someone about this or a financial advisor or some sort of professional maybe a health professional mm-hmm yeah, because we have the action card, taking action here, letting this go, creating new memories. Some of you, this is a job or a career. I'm also getting you may have been in a karmic relationship that had caused a lot of heartache or a lot of pain. And we have the mirror at the bottom of the deck. This can be about mirroring each other. It's about introspection, really taking a deep look at where you are at in your life, Pisces, and what changes need to happen in order for you to feel free or liberated in some way, shape, or form. So diving in, we have divine guidance. This is about angelic support, answers to your prayers. For some of you, there's been a loss of a loved one and they may be showing up for you in the month of September. September could be a big month. Maybe that is a birthday, celebration of life. It could be, you know, a month that feels like you're not alone right? You're not alone. And even though some of you may have felt like you were dealing with some sort of hardship by yourself, you have this angelic energy coming in and it's spiritual strength and assistance. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Some sort of help, whether this is prayers being answered, this can be miracles. Yeah, miracles. Expect a miracle, Pisces, because there is a, a shift. There's a turning point and for some of you, this does have to do with your career or your finances. You may have, you know, a loved one in spirit, your guides, your angels, uh, your ascended masters, whoever you're working with or connecting with at a higher frequency. I feel like they're bringing in or helping you initiate some sort of change and to let go of what's not working to replace it with something that's more aligned with what you truly desire. Maybe it's a relationship, perhaps it's, you know, staying consistent with some health goals, connecting with the right professionals that can get you where you need to go. Because this is about closure, liberation here, and growth. This is life lessons. It is, it is about, I keep getting the closure, like something is closing out, closing out of a cycle not doing the same thing and you may have a choice or a decision to make around this situation of the past okay you may be wanting to rebuild or reconnect with an energy of the past this could be an old project that you put on the back burner the memories card is about nostalgia and i do feel here for you I had to stop the video for a second because the air uh, kicked on and it was really loud. So I apologize for the pause. But back to the memories energy here, Pisces. I feel like there could be a little bit of reminiscing. 
reminiscing over the good old days or when things felt simple, when things felt more fun, more vibrant. There may even be a tad bit of, yeah, nostalgia here for you in the month of September, but I feel like you are making new memories. This is about taking what you've learned and taking the happy moments, but also taking the, the silver lining from some of the struggles and the challenges as well. Now, when it comes to career, there has been some sort of disappointment in your career potentially, or there's been a shift in your personal life that may have affected your professional life. But I feel like that is being released here and this could actually propel you on your career journey to reach for something greater. Maybe it's climbing the ladder. It could be advancement, perhaps even a job change, a promotion, a side business or a side hustle. And I feel like there is a gift coming in here and you're moving out of the financial struggle or challenge phase to the generosity phase. So something is shifting here for you in matters of career and you may be leaving behind the old to make way for new. And I do see here wanderlust and new life. Some of you could even be going back to school Okay, back to school or there is a new class or a certification that you want to take. Maybe there is some sort of additional training, but you have the new life. So this could be a move, relocating or a new job offer because the wanderlust has the map and this job may include travel, potential travel or, you know, tourism. This could be real estate, Airbnb. Uh, maybe you're wanting to vacation or work from a distance or work remotely, work from home, work from anywhere in the world. Yeah, there is a new opportunity coming in and I feel like you're really happy about this opportunity because you have been through a lot of disappointment, Pisces, and even a lot of rejection. Because I see with the three of swords, you're moving on to the four of swords. Even though it's in reverse here, um, I feel like you are making a choice and this has to do with, you know, sitting in this three of swords or moving on and healing a situation. I mean, the two, the three and the four of swords and then showing up here as your outcome, we actually have the five of pentacles moving into the six of pentacles. So you're coming out of a fight or flight or walking on eggshells or you're just not quite sure of where this energy is going. I feel like, yeah, there's been some heartbreak, there's been disappointment, but a choice is being made here. And that choice is, do I stay stuck in this past energy of whatever this disappointment is? Or do I put something to rest? And do I let it go? Do I rejuvenate my soul by, you know, maybe taking a break or regrouping or healing or focusing on, you know, myself in some way, shape or form. And I feel like you are making that choice subconsciously to let something go. Okay. And by focusing on this new path, it's actually initiating major change and transformation with that four of swords because I see the butterfly and this is a yellow butterfly. Yellow is the color of the solar plexus. The solar plexus is in our belly area and that's our powerhouse. It's our courage, our, you know, gut instincts and feelings. And I feel like you know what you need to do here. And even though there may not have been enough information to make a choice, you are trusting in your intuition here. And I feel like the head and the heart are needing to be balanced out. And that's literally what we have here is the heart and we see you in your head about a situation and we see putting this to rest and that's going to allow you to let your intuition shine. And that's why you have divine guidance here because your higher power is reaching out to you at this time. And it has to do with your stability. It has to do with your place on you know this earthly plane and you are well respected Pisces you're someone that people do respect they look up to this may have to do with your career this could be going in for financial advice I mean the page of Pentacles is someone who is very connected very in tuned with his surroundings and with nature and the animals 
He's someone who focuses on his success and on his money. But sometimes, sometimes he can be too, too kind, right? Too kind or someone who is needing to, um, there's something about maybe sharing the wealth or setting a boundary when it comes to how one must obtain wealth is what I'm picking up on. So Queen of Pentacles, or excuse me, King of Pentacles is also that big boss energy. And so whatever you're working on in your career, I feel like this is going to be quite successful or you yourself are quite successful, but maybe you did have to overcome some personal hurdles here in order to get to this next step of your career or I mean if this is a relationship I also see some of you for health you're letting go of foods that may not be healthful or beneficial you may be tuning more into maybe plant-based vegetables or fruits you may be working with herbs flowers because I see a lot of greens so this can be getting more greens or nutrients into your diet some of you are drinking a green powder is what I'm seeing, a green powder. Maybe this is a burst of, of vegetables that you are drinking. Mm -hmm. And I also see some of you really connecting to your own animals or you may be seeing signs in nature through animals. You may be working with the totems. So pay attention to the animals that are either in your life or cross your path this month. I also see some of you could have lost uh, a pet, a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. You may be dreaming of them or you may receive a sign or a message from a pet or a loved one that's crossed over. Now we see the three of wands, some sort of disappointment has kept you stagnant or kept you perched or held you back or delayed a beginning, okay? Yeah, I feel with this five of cups in reverse, uh, this is disappointment of not moving forward. So there was a relationship or a job or in your health, it feels like you weren't able to move forward and it caused disappointment and it was a little bit of a, a round and round process is what I'm getting here for you. But the good news here, Pisces, is both of these energies are showing up. So it means that you sat with this. You're going to make a choice here to take a leap of faith to refresh, right, rejuvenate. There's the R&R. &R. Some of you could even be taking a little bit of a break. You could be taking some downtime, getting out in nature, maybe even traveling with that Wanderlust card. You could be creating a sacred space within your environment. Maybe this is an altar or you go someplace that fills your cup. Maybe it's a, a family cabin or it could be, you know, a place in your garden. It could be a place within you. You may be meditating more. And I feel like you are overcoming some sort of disappointment here because we also have the five and the six of pentacles. You're coming up out of it. The fives are about change, obstacles, conflict, and uncertainty. So some of you, there was struggles around finances, health, or money, or even in your, your home. Okay, I feel like your stability was that of, you know, fight or flight. And look at, there's the bird. And this is interesting because the three of wands has been showing up with the five of pentacles lately. And it is that message of, you know, the bird staying in this cold energy, but the three of wands is saying, okay, you've been left out in the cold in some way, shape, or form. Now it's time to hit that refresh button. Now it's time to spread your wings and know that, you know, even if it feels like there's not an opportunity out there, six of cups, or excuse me, six of pentacles is saying, yes, there is. Because the six is a gift. Sixes are about problem solving and harmony and bringing something to fruition. So when you get this six, there's an unexpected resource, gift, donation, or act of kindness, generosity. It's I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And I feel like it requires you to meet halfway. It requires you, Pisces, to spread your wings and fly off of this branch in order to receive this gift. It's not just going to land in your lap. And I feel like there's a generous offer being made here. This could be putting in the work 
to balance out some sort of relationship or dynamic that you're in. Mm-hmm. This could be you setting a boundary when it comes to being generous with your time or your finances or your money. Now, there's nothing wrong with helping others out, but sometimes with that King of Pentacles, sometimes he helps other people out but doesn't get anything in return. And it's not about getting anything in return. It isn't at all, but it would be nice to get a thank you or it would be nice to sometimes you know, get something back. And I feel like there could be a lesson in that around enabling or around, you know, you setting a boundary for yourself and perhaps giving of your time and energy elsewhere to where it is reciprocated, where it does feel good to give it, even if there's not an expectation of getting anything in return, but you actually do get something because that's the flow, right? That's the flow instead of feeling resistance. And some of you are dealing with someone in your life where there's resistance, there's heartbreak, there's disappointment. You keep going back and forth. You're going round and round. I keep getting that here. And in order to not go round and round, you got to do something different. And that's why you are flying off the ledge here and you're trying something new. All right, let's look at love. Let's look at partnerships here soulmate energy you also have twin flame and you have karmic wow this has been a big theme if you happen to check out last week's love reading whether you're single in a relationship in a situationship check those readings out they'll resonate with you know everyone i try to hit all you know all cases all scenarios but some of you were in a karmic relationship in the past that broke your heart or there was a lot of toxicity here or disappointment or pain but it was actually to prepare you for union with a twin flame okay and that was a big theme preparing for union in those readings last week for all signs so i feel like there's a collective shift in a preparation preparing for union which could be a lover it could be a best friend, it could be a family member, it could be someone that you've had a falling out with or you haven't connected with in some time, but there is a preparation here. And some of you, you've rebuilt, right? There's been a lot of sabotage, but you've continued to work on something and you can, you can choose to stay in a karmic situation, but if you're going round and round and round, know that it's because change hasn't been initiated and it has to be initiated on one or both of your ends. And both of you in order to fly together, right? So karmic relationship can be resentments. It can be triggers. This is perception, intense energies. I mean, if you've ever been in a karmic, which um, the majority of you have, and there's a couple of them throughout our lifetimes that really help us evolve. It's the catalyst to our own spiritual journey and awakening. They can be really difficult to break the pattern or the chain because they're such a strong, intense energy. And some of you are saying, well, Mel, isn't that a twin flame? It is. Uh, or excuse me, it's not, they're separate. We can have many karmics, but there's only one twin flame. But the karmic relationship is one that's really difficult to break the pattern of the pattern of toxicity or the pattern of, you know, resentments and triggers and karma, because that's what karmic relationship is. And sometimes we get sucked back into that never ending loop. So that makes sense. I kept seeing that here for you. There's turmoil, there's fleeting, there's running, there's chasing. And I feel like some of you may have even perceived this relationship to be a twin flame, but it was a false. It was in fact, a karmic relationship. And some of you may not want to hear that, but you may know that now because this person held up a mirror. And this mirror was a mirroring each other. It's self-reflection. It is introspection or being able to heal some of the inner wounds, potentially from childhood. We see the children here. And this was a really powerful dynamic that you were in in order for you to move forward on your abundant path here on earth. Now we do have Hammer. You've spent a lot of time reconstructing your love life, 
okay, through sabotage, through persistence, through repairing and working on it, continuing to put in the effort time and time again and rebuilding yourself or rebuilding a relationship. But we have here the twin flame, which is yin yang energy. It is union, duality. It's complementing each other in some way, and it can be opposites coming together, like peanut butter and jelly, right? And I feel like some of you may have felt disappointed in this karmic situation, but it was, in fact, again, preparing you for union. So when you come into contact with the twin flame, that this is that completion. This is that other part of you. You are the other part of them. It's the same soul splitting off to have two human experiences. And this certainly could lead to engagement. You have the higher commitments here. This is about eternity, partnerships, union, and what did we say? Completion. So if something feels like it has been very, very difficult, very challenging, very disappointing, uh, there's been a lot of a lot, a lot of lessons, but it feels like you're in this loop that you just cannot get out of. For some of you, that could be karmic, okay? It could be teaching you, holding up that mirror. And you may still have lessons to learn with that energy, with the memories. But for a lot of you, you are being guided to let that go. Even if physically this person is no longer in your world, you could still be working on healing some of the lessons that you were meant to learn in that relationship so you can prepare for this union that is either entering in or is in your world. All right, let's look, Pisces, at finances, abundance, career, and wealth. We have designer. Some of you are designers. Some of you are helpers. This could be a career in fashion, art, or any artistic skills. That could be just for you. Some of you may be in sales rep, right? Or a call center or any field where you're able to help or assist others, okay? Maybe the medical field. Maybe you're a lawyer. Perhaps you are called to, you know, assist others in some way, shape, or form that fulfills your purpose of service, of mission. And it says you are being called to tune into your individuality and to express yourself. Yeah, in matters of career, this is about you letting go of maybe people pleasing, expectations, criticism, or what other people think of you because you are unique. You have these ideas. It says get creative with your finances. Perhaps it's time to discover a new talent or it's time to showcase your talents here, Pisces. Think before you offer help. Set healthy boundaries. We said that earlier with the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, he is someone who is very abundant. He wants to help people. He's a great leader. He's very kind. People respect him. But don't let people disrespect you by crossing a line. And don't disrespect yourself by enabling. Okay, so... You could be a cashier or, you know, making sure that your goals are yours. Make sure that they're yours and not someone else's or to set boundaries when it comes to helping others. Yeah, I do see medical showing up here. Allowing other people to help you could be a part of this. We see a big shift, a crossroads. That's that two of swords coming in here. Taking your career in a totally different direction for some of you Pisceans out there. Have the courage to change course. Continue to grow, change, and learn. You've reached the end of a route where you cannot continue traveling, right? You cannot continue on the path that you're on. So there's going to be some choices here for you to make coming up. And I, I don't feel like there's a, you know necessarily a wrong choice. All destinations are going to lead you to where you need to go, but it's about you trusting, trusting in your divine path, okay? Because maybe you take this way and there's some lessons that you still are working on of the past. Maybe you go straight ahead and these are brand new and they're going to help you ascend. Maybe you take a right over here, you know, and it's a brand new course that you've never been on before. Stay curious and take action. Whatever your question is when it comes to career, go for it. That's the answer. Go for it. You have this spiritual assistance here. 
expect miracles. Don't procrastinate or wait to take that next step to get ahead. Just do it, right? Just do it. Nothing will change if you don't take action. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. That also goes for relationships, right? Maybe there is a partnership or a new contract coming in and it's up to you to say yes to this opportunity. And that's what we said earlier with the six of pentacles. You have to be willing to fly off that perch, fly off that branch because the opportunity, it's not just going to land in your lap. It's, this is time for you to take action. I like this for you. All right, Pisces, last but not least, we have the ring, the ring showing up. Let's see what the ring is all about here for Pisces, September 2024. All right, Pisces, I'm just finding the ring here in the book for you. One moment. I'm actually going to pause it so we don't keep you on hold. And Pisces, as I was looking for the ring, I came across the mirror as well. And so I'm not going to read the mirror in the book. I'm going to read the ring. But this is important for you. There is something here about self-reflection and introspection, okay? Addressing any of the inner wounds because that's going to help you not repeat the same cycle or to break out of some sort of cycle. It'll also help you see the miracles that are right in front of you. Now, the ring is about the infinite. It's the wheel. It's the connection. And the message for you is this. The ring is an image of connectedness. Rather than viewing life as linear, as a series of progressive achievements, the ring challenges us to sense the cyclical, infinite nature of our world and experiences. Beginnings and endings fall by the wayside as we practice seeing ourselves as part of the cosmic circularity of creation. For this reason, it's no surprise a ring is worn on the finger to represent eternal love that surpasses space, time, and worldly things. So much can be projected into the archetypal image because it mimics the Earth's orbit around our great sun and the intimate bond between two lovers. It is the micro and macro united. This card calls us to deepen connection with self, other, and the world at large. Meanwhile, there may be a literal ring waiting to adorn your finger. That is that preparing, preparing for union of some sort. Yeah, there may be some fears of heartbreak or do I do this as you enter into the next phase, but you have to trust in your path, Pisces, trust in your journey. This is about connectedness, humility, and sacred cycles. When it's showing up as that dark energy, it can be unconscious repetition. That's that round and round, and that also makes sense with the ring. It's about starving for connection. Take stock of the jewels you adorn yourself with. Watch out for rings you wear out of habit that keep you connected to the old you. Study images of the mandala, the unis mundus, the, uh, the ouroboros, and the medicine wheel. Wow, that's, those are a lot of really great things to look into here. As you can actually see that, um, that ouroboros and you see the, the cycles of life. This is cyclical patterns as well, not repeating things, but seeing them as a whole. If you want to go deeper in this energy, Pisces, you can take a look at Rilks, I live my life in widening circles. Okay, Rilks or Rilks. I'm not sure if that's a poem. It could be a poem. It could be a story. I live my life in widening circles. But I also feel like this does have to do with beginnings and endings. So some of you, there's a new beginning coming in here. But it requires you to, to let go. And that's so difficult to do, right? That's why it's showing up in your subconscious energy that is ready to be brought into conscious awareness. Because this is about, you know, goodbyes as well. It's about ascension. But it's infinity. I mean, if we look at it from that perspective, letting go is so much easier. It really is. When we look at it as, you know, there is no beginning, there is no end, or there is no 
you know, it's, it's a constant infinite process, but we also, we're never going to be in the same situation more than once. There's always something to learn. So even if you find yourself in a repeat pattern, you can learn and grow and take note of something in a new way. And I even say that about these readings, right? These readings, which we have free will, tarot is not set in stone, but you can come back to a reading and take something entirely new away from it each and every time. Same with the movie, right? There's movies that maybe you've watched a million time, or times or a book that you've read over and over, but there's always a new piece of information that shows up when you become aware, right? And so I feel like there is a sense of sacred cycle that you find yourself in. And if you do find yourself repeating it over and over, then there's still something that is meant to learn. And I feel like spirit is saying, don't starve yourself of that connection. Don't shut yourself off to that connection due to pain or disappointment. And I feel like you are, in a big way, as I mentioned, preparing for union, preparing for soul tribe, for partnerships, for connectedness, feeling like you are a part of something greater than yourself in your career, in your relationships, in your family. And stay curious. Because what you're curious about, what you are researching, what you are, you know, learning at this time is leading you, Pisces, directly into this new life, this new energy, this big transformation that is taking place in your world. That is what I have for you. I hope this resonates. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in, Pisces, and happy September.